What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout 4 video. So in this one, we're actually going to be making our way towards Diamond City. Hopefully we get some uh, cool and interesting things along the way, but we'll see once we cross that hurdle, of course. But for now, I definitely want to go ahead and take advantage of the fact that I have a level up uh, and actually level up, right? Um, so I have been asked or told about the bobblehead that I missed in the Museum of Freedom where we met Preston Garvey and I actually missed it on purpose because I want to level up everything to level 10 first before I go collecting uh, bobbleheads and that's for a simple reason if you do that after you get level 10 uh, or a 10 stat I guess you can say essentially what ends up happening is you end up getting 11 as your max and uh, at least that's what I think ends up happening but for now, let's go ahead, since we're going with the Vats build, um, let me see, uh, feeling lucky, that's actually pretty cool, there's also Critical Banker, where's Critical Banker at, right here, uh, save a critical hit used in Vats, uh, let's go with Critical Banker. Wait, hold on. Actually, let's go with local leader so we can establish supply lines. That's probably not the smartest idea. Oh, well, well, let's go ahead and start making our way towards Diamond City. Um, how far is it? Oh, God, it's pretty far. Let's go ahead and fast travel to Corvega and we'll make our way from there. Oh, also, um, I did go around the existing workshops and I did uh, balance everything out. You know what I mean? I put defense where it needs a little defense. So at least that the settlers that live there are happy. Uh, but I, I mean, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. Oh, and there's something else that I wanted to do too. Now that I think about it, there's another settlement over there by Tempines Bluff. But I suppose we can do that later. We can always come back and do that at a later time. But we'll see. I swear, these uh, loading screens in this game. I love this game to death, but the loading screens are pretty ridiculous, dude. That's probably why the um, it doesn't have like the greatest uh, FPS or a. Uh, uh, like frames or whatever frame rates there's like plenty of mods out there that actually uh, get rid of some of like the excess stuff that the Bethesda put in this game just so it can get better frame rates hiya military frequency AF ooh Is that it? Automated message. Yes, it is. All right. What the hell just fell? You saw that? A car just fell off the freaking roof. Or the, the it just fell off the thing. Right there. That one right there. That was weird. All right. Well, let's go ahead and actually make our way over there. That looks, that sounds interesting. It's fire support. Jewel of the Commonwealth. That's always going to be there anyways. It's just a part of the main storyline. Um, do me a huge favor too, guys. Um. If you haven't already do, done so, do me a huge favor and drop a like on this video. Also, if you're not subscribed, please do me a huge favor and do that as well because it does help this channel grow. And that's definitely my main objective for this channel is to grow at this point, you know? Up, oh, I hear gunfire. Oh, uh, I, I, I'm getting some hitching. The closer I get to this place. Yeah, you see that? Dun dun dun. I might download some mods, man, just to like optimize this game a little bit better. Alright, let's go find out what the hell is going on here. 
What's up? Let's go! This gun's actually really cool. Don't worry, Dan. Oh, I mean, sir. They can't touch me. Oh my god, can I get him? At least I got him. Okay, let's go ahead and... Ooh. Oh, this one isn't automatic though, is it? Yeah, no, it's not. So I'm not gonna worry about it right now. They're over there freaking fighting and I'm over here looting. Oh, hell no, nah, they hurt my dog. You won't get away with this. Oh, I guess they did. What's up, sir? Excuse me. We appreciate the assistance. What's your business here? Um, just trying to survive, I suppose. I'm just trying to survive out here, like everyone else. The way you charged in and engaged those ferals, I find that a bit difficult to believe. Are you from a local settlement? Why all the questions? Do all these questions really matter? After all, I help you fight those ferals. You make a fair point. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. But who are you really? I want to help, but I don't like the secrecy. Who are you really? Very well. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. We're on recon duty. But I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, if I may... Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need. The deep range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? Um What's the what's with the what's the Brotherhood of Steel? Who are the Brotherhood of Steel? Our order seeks to understand the nature of technology. Its power, its meaning to us as humans. And we fight to secure that power from those who would abuse it. Uh abuse of a technology? How did mankind abuse technology? Before the Great War, science and technology became more of a burden than the atom bomb, bioengineered plagues, and FEV are clear examples of the horrors that technological advancement has wrought. We're here to make sure that never happens again. Uh, I mean, sounds like a noble cause, I suppose. Your cause seems noble. I'm pleased that you agree. There are very few, outside the Brotherhood, who appreciate the gravity of the situation we're facing as a species. So, what do you say? Will you help us? Sir, yes, sir. No time to waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding. Awesome. Well, first things first. Let's go and check all these Pharrell ghouls. Duct tape. Don't mind if I do. Plastic knife. This guy blew up. All right. Uh, I mean, I guess I could take the toy car. Bottle cap. Aluminum. Okay, that's good. Is that everybody? I think everyone's dead. I know there's a uh, stuff around here. Uh, give me those fusion cells, actually. Ten millimeter rounds. Bottle cap. More ten millimeter rounds. Stim pack right away. There's like a bunch of useful stuff up here, isn't there? Anything over here? No? Alrighty. Let's go talk to Dan the man. Technically, it's Dan's. Not Dan. AG, hey, what the hell are you talking about? Alright. Uh, shotgun, 38, stim pack, stim pack. 
um, 10 millimeter fusion cells, of course. I kind of want to, I kind of want to look around. But doing it in third person kind of sucks. 308. What's in the desk? 38. I can't hack, I mean, I can't lockpick that. There isn't much in here, is there? Nah, it doesn't really look like there's much in here. Um. Nah. I mean, I'll always welcome some stim packs. What's in the fridge? Nothing that concerns me. Alright, um... There's like a lot of stim packs in here though, I will say that. You shut the hell up, dude. What the hell's wrong with you? Uh, why are you so angry? Why are you so angry with me? I'm not angry. I'm just letting you know where you stand. You're hired help, and that's all there is to it. Um, well, that's your opinion. That's what you think. Damn right it is. Now, why don't you run off and see if Top needs you to do anything else? God, such a dick. Shotgun shells. Gladius personal terminal. Uh, recon squad Gladius orders. Recon squad uh, Gladius uh, current orders are as follows. Proceed to the area designated as the Commonwealth to perform a standard long-range recon operation, LRRO. Report any unusual activity using standard long-range communications to scabbard, uh, to scabbard. Extraction time undetermined. Paladin Dance. Uh, Paladin Dance personal logs. Okay, log one. After several months, my squad has just crossed the border and entered the Commonwealth. We've chosen to immediately search the Boston region with the intention of finding a secure building to use as our recon headquarters. Soon after, my squad was ambushed by raiders. Night Keen's uh, power armor was destroyed and we lost uh, some of our supplies. Fortunately, we were able to repel the attack and continue our mission. So, looks like Paladin Keen died. Log 2. We've discovered a secured building in Cambridge that appears to be a former police station. We were able to clear the building and recover a good deal of supplies and ammunition from pre-war caches inside. According to Scribe Hayden, Halen, this uh, location is structurally sound and highly defensible. I've decided to establish our headquarters here for the time being. Three. After Halen identified the Corvega factory in Lexington as a possible site containing a value, a viable pre-war technology, we initiated a sweep and retrieve operation. I had Dawes do a site survey and he discovered it was being held by a large force of raiders. I gave the go-ahead and we attempted to breach. As we approached, our squad was hit with gunfire. Uh, Knight Warwick was wounded, so I decided to fall back to Cambridge. During our retreat, Knight Brock stepped on a landmine. Scribe Halen attempted to treat him, but Brock scrum, uh, scum bed? Sure. Uh, oh, succumbed. What the fuck, man? I can't even read right now. To his wounds and died. Let it be noted uh, for the record that Halen is to be commended for her efforts. Damn, dude. Sounds like the team was a lot bigger than these people, dude. Uh, log 4. It's been two days since our failed operation at Corvega, and I'm uh, sad to report that Knight Warwick has died. My god. Uh, his gunshot wounds had left him paralyzed and internally bleeding. Scribe Halen informed me that he was suffering and had less than 5% chance of recovery. I authorized her to inject him with an overdose of painkiller and put him to rest. I'd once again like to commend Scribe Halen for her efforts in keeping Warwick alive. My god, dude. And for following my 
Final orders without question. I feel so fucking bad for these guys, dude. I actually never read this terminal before. Five. We sustained another casualty today at grid reference A113. This area contains the ruin of Boston International Airport and Ford Strong. The airport uh, was almost completely abandoned, but Ford Strong turned out to be infested by super mutants. Uh, we were hoping to resupply at the armory there, but Knight Sergeant Dawes was killed. This is the second location. I've had to order a retreat from uh, from since we arrived, and the third member of my team to die. I recommended a complete bombardment of this location in the future. Holy shit, dude! That's three people that died. Halen seems to be doing her job top tier, though. I will give her that, but I feel bad because I, almost everybody's dying so far. So log six. Scribe Halen was being. Uh, has been picking up unusual energy readings on her instruments. She claims that they are on an extreme high band spectrum frequency, which makes it highly unlikely to be pre-war in origin. The readings are also highly uh, sporadic, only spare, uh, spearing for very short amounts of time and in a very specific location. The decay of these signals is severe and they seem to be to despair uh, off Halen's instruments after several hours we don't have the equipment necessary to track these readings so we were attempted to uh, use triangulation to discover their point of origin this might be where we're heading in this mission so log 7 we've been attempted to contact scabbard with the energy readings Halen has collected, but the police station's high gain antenna was damaged by a super mutant rocket attack, and we can't transmit the data. Halen in uh, Halen is attempting to repair the antenna, but uh, but she isn't certain uh, that we have the parts we need at this time. Wow! Oh crap! There was one more, wasn't there? Uh, Gladys' personal status. Uh, Knight Sergeant Doss. Uh, he died. Reese, he's the dickhead we just talked to. Uh, Keen died. We know all of this because of these terminals. Brach died. Or Brock? Brach? I don't know. Knight Warwick died. Scribe Halen, obviously she's still here. There's... Hold on, there was one missing one. Yeah, they're missing one. In uh, the personal logs, I think it was six. Um, where is he? Maybe it was five. No, seven. Scabbard. Oh, Scabbard. Never mind. Scabbard is uh, basically HQ. What's up? Excuse me, Scribe Halen. You better get a move on. It's not a good idea to keep Paladin Dance waiting. Okay. Well, he's gonna have to wait. Scribe Halen's personal log. Field Scribe Halen, personal log entry 324A. I'm starting to wonder if joining the Brotherhood of Steel was a good choice. I originally signed up seeking protection and comradeship, but I'm worried that I've traded away a bit of my humanity in the process. The Brotherhood's message of hope for the future is idealistic and noble, but their methods leave a lot to be desired. The leadership seems especially misguided. Instead of diplomacy, they wield violent confrontation to exert control. Despite all that, I've been successfully avoiding the fighting by following the career path of a field scribe. I suppose only time will tell how long I can stand the sight of spilled blood over my own moral fiber. Damn, dude. Sounds like Halen's having a hard time dealing with all this crazy situations. Military fatigues. Uh... Nah. 
I don't want to wear military fatigue. Ooh, another terminal. Cambridge police evidence. On to the guessing game. All right. Got it. All right. Hell yeah. Uh, case. Holbrook seditions log. Um. Adams public intoxication logs. I don't really want to read winter. Something updated. Uh, return to Agent Mitchell. Boston Bath. Bad. Whatever. Uh, okay, nailed to Sergeant. All right, Malden PD. Reckless endangerment. Uh, these are just the police records. Let's take that desk fan though. Get out of my way, dog meat. 38. Don't mind if I do. No, I'm not going that way just yet. All right, let's go ahead and talk to Paladin Dance and get on out of here. Dance? You ready to move out? Yep. Why the police station? Why establish an outpost at the police station? Given the nature of the facility, it's a great place. It would be tactically advantageous to search it for weapons and ammunition. The radio tower on the roof was an unexpected boon, but it obviously has its shortcomings that need to be rectified. It might not be as imposing as the Citadel back in the Capital Wasteland, Ooh. but it suits our purposes. That's all I'm willing to divulge at this point. Are you ready to proceed with the mission? I can't wait to get to the Capital. I mean, uh, to get to the uh, Citadel in the, in Fallout Three, man. We haven't gotten there in the playthrough yet. Um, but yeah, the Citadel's fucking awesome, dude. All right, I'm ready. Ready. Outstanding. Follow me. There's yes, sir. Behind. Will do, sir. That's a fucking awesome animation. Ready when you are. Let's go, Dancy Dance. Man, well, I learned a lot of freaking cool stuff here, man. Stuff that I didn't know by reading just that one terminal, man. That's that's the kind of stuff that I want to see and learn here in this playthrough. Like, I've played this game like a million times, but lore hunting was never really my, my main objective in playing Fallout games. I always went to like external places like uh, like Oxhorn. Now everybody knows about Oxhorn. But uh, he's got the probably arguably one of the best lore channels out there. Uh, at least in my personal opinion. Uh, if you guys know any better, definitely leave it down below in the comments, man. I'm always welcome to discovering new and interesting YouTube channels. Especially when it comes to Fallout, man. But yeah, that's the whole point of this playthrough for me. It's literally going around and trying to, to learn more about the lore within Fallout in general. Man, loading into the actual Commonwealth takes forever, dude. Shit's crazy. Oh my god, hurry up. Any day now. What the hell is taking so long, man? Yeah, I really do think at some point I'm probably going to be... Um, at some point I'm probably going to be... Uh, installing some mods to improve load times and uh, stuff like that man and even frame rates you know because this is ridiculous god damn dance chill out we'll take this alley. Follow me. sorry dog meat not right now not yet come on let's go ahead and take a rat away man uh all right let's go i don't like having rads Yes, sir. Traveling this far from the police station is a risk. But getting that transmitter up and running needs to be our top priority. If it was up to me, I'd relocate my team. But Scribe Haley is able to conserve his energy needs in the area and keep the peace out. We don't know much about this. Except that this is a The broadcast on a frequency will be attainable with a high level of technology. We're concerned that whoever and whatever is creating those energies might be a potential threat. So it's our job to 
Yes, sir. Just just give me a second. I'm trying to do this slowly so I can hear you at the same time. All right. Any more dead bodies? No? Oh, wait. All right. We're good. Let's go. There's so much stuff around here, isn't there? You can just literally loot for days. Can I kill these birds? Um, yes. <laughs> that was 100% out of curiosity. Can I win this? Nope. Nuka Cola. I'll definitely take that mute fruit though. Ooh, a chef hat. All right, anything in here? No. All right, let's go. Ooh, look at all these people. Are they friendly? Oh shit. Well, that's our answer. Dude, he just one-shotted her. Oh. How the hell did I miss? Go get him, dog meat. Good shit. Fusion cells. Don't mind if I do. Let's go ahead and loot all these assholes. Um, damn, this guy has a lot of stuff. All right. Well, good for you, Dance. Sorry, I know it's kind of it's kind of hard to listen, but that's why I have the um, subtitles on as well. You know what I mean? Valtech Overseer T-shirt. Oh, that's that's a DLC. All right, let's go, Dance. I'm ready. Speed him to this truck or this bus, so we can see what's inside. Unstoppables. Okay, nothing, nothing spectacular. Oh, I'm stuck. Let's go. Come on, dance. So where can I find me one of those laser rifles, man? I, I want an automatic one. So I can lay down the law with a laser rifle. All right, this guy should be done, skis. <laughs> oh, dance. Look at you, crack shot. Took out the second guy. With no problems whatsoever. Ever. I swear, I can't talk, dude. I promise you I know English. Oh god, there's another one. Good job, Dance. You're an amazing individual. You know that? I should probably heal, though. Very nice. You ready, Dance? To take care of this deep range transmitter at Arc Jet Systems? I know, I am. Okay, sounds good. What's in here? Man, I'm finding a lot of 38, man. Maybe I should have like an... Oh, I do have an automatic 38, don't I? It's not very strong that I remember. Let me see. Hold on. Let's compare. Uh, This does 16 damage at a fire rate of 127. 12, 127. So, this is just straight up damage problem right here. 27, 12. It's not even close. <laughs> this is infinitely more powerful. 
You ready to dance? What's going on? Paladin dance. Listen up. We do this clean and quiet. No heroics and by the book. Understood? Absolutely. Understood. Outstanding. Remember, our primary target is the deep range transmitter. Stay focused and check your fire. I don't want to be hit by stray bullets. Will do. No, let me Excuse first. Me. Paladin dance. Damn it. There we go. Come on, dance. You're lagging behind already, and we haven't even technically entered the building yet. If we ever will be able to enter the building. <laughs> So, while we're waiting, do you guys want to see me do all the Creation Club stuff uh, before or after I'm done with the main storyline? Um, the only reason why I'm asking is because I have a lot of Creation Club missions that I need to get through. No way. Corporations destroyed the world? It appears as though the facility's automated security's already been dealt with. Um I see that. I see that. Damn it, I was hoping to avoid this. Look at the evidence. There isn't a single spent ammunition casing or drop of blood in sight. These robots were assaulted by Institute Synths. Gasp! What are synths? Synth? Isn't that the same as robot? They're an abuse of technology. Created by the Institute. Abominations meant to improve upon humanity. It's unacceptable. They simply can't be allowed to exist. So what's the Institute? What's the Institute? They're a group of scientists who went underground when the Great War started. Spent the last few decades littering the Commonwealth with their technological nightmares. Um. Alright, I'll be on the lookout. I'll be on the lookout. Roger that. Let's move out. Who's Roger? I don't know. I still want to know who this Roger is. This place is I still see the pieces of salvage from the Brotherhood might be interested. You do that, Dance. For now, I'm going to just take a quick look around. Do that, maybe get some a little little bit of lore about our jets if we can. Doesn't look like there's much to go off of though. I don't know where you're getting all this salvage information from, like Dance. See if you can find a way to get that door open. Sir, yes, sir. Uh, password change. All right. I should be able. Wait, let me get this desk fan. I should be able to just go over here. Wait, hold on. Before I do that. Nah, there's nothing. All right, let's go. Wait, I want to. I want to listen to this first. Why the heck are they making us record this? Oh crap, it's on, isn't it? <laughs> um, this is Technician Rand, Arc Jet Propulsion Division. I'm here with Technician Janowski, Work Log A one one nine zero. Janowski and I have been working on the Mars Shot Project for about three months now, and I think we have the thrust calculations worked out. Man, I wish I was headed up there with those guys. It'd be nice to get the hell away from our lousy planet. Hey, easy. If we don't record these logs properly, we're going to get fired. The supervisor is already itching to get rid of us, especially since it's taking us longer than we promised. So what? We've been drafted anyway. We're shipping out in a few weeks, remember? <sighs> Soon we'll be doing push-ups, eating freeze-dried rations, and just wishing we were spending our day inside a cushy private laboratory. Of course I remember. But I'm trying not to imagine getting my head blown off when I'm on the front line, and keeping my mind on work is helping me deal with the problem. Maybe that doesn't make sense to you, but it's important to me, okay? All right. Sorry. Look, why don't you toss this tape We'll start a new one. Well, all right then. Looks like these guys got drafted. Let's open this door. Nice. Let's get this. Contact the human. Life force of the incident. Look out. 
All right, let's get closer. Die, you synth! Go after dance, damn it! Shock baton, don't need that. Let's go ahead and search all these guys before we continue. Actually, I'll take this laser rifle or laser institute pistol. Dance, you are slightly overpowered right now, right? Wait, hold on. I got an idea. You can have that. Wow. Oh shit, where'd you come from? Whoa, there's a lot of them. Good job, dog meat. I'm over here getting shot at while looting. What the hell's wrong with me? Come on, headshot. Yeah, yeah. Actually, you know what? Let's transfer because I want this instead of the pistol. Where's the pistol? Oh, there it is. You can have that. Thank you, though. Oh. That was close. Don't have expert anything, so let's... Oh, wait. Terminal. Oh, I can't hack this. Shucks. Can I... Hold on. How much ammo do I have of this? 478? Not bad. 238. Nice. Laser rifle. I might actually scra scrap this. Actually, I know I am. Wait, really quick. Am I able... What can I craft? Um, barrel. So I don't even have science one. So I need to get science one. So first things first, let's go ahead and scrap this laser rifle. And I guess call it a day. Wait. I need those fusion cells, bro. Did they? Did they really? Oh, magazine. Tesla science. You've collected an issue of Tesla science. Energy weapons permanently inflict 5% critical damage. Do not mind if I do. <laughs> CEO's terminal? A Marshot project. After six months, the United States Space Administration finally approved ArcJet as the contractor for the Marshot project's pul uh, propulsion and communication system. Having my team start working on the XMB boost before we secured the contract uh, was a gamble, but it looked like it was going to pay off big. Uh, we have a lot of details uh, to hash out with the agency, and we have a lot of work ahead of us, but I think this contract will finally put our jet on the map. Um, I was fortunate to be able to add Dr. Rory's uh, McLean to the XMB Booster team today. There are few people who can match Dr. Clean's aptitude with nuclear propulsion systems. So this truly was a coup. It cost the company a heck of a lot of money to hire him anyway from his military contracting job, but I'm sure it will, it will be well worth every dollar. We've pr uh, promised the USSA that the booster would be ready uh, at least a year before July uh, 2078 launch date with Dr. McLean at the helm. We should be able to meet that deadline with time to spare. They never made it to 2078. As the holiday season approaches, it's time to take a step back and look at everything that's happened to uh, our jet systems this year. Five months ago, my company was struggling to make ends meet. Now with the XMB booster and the deep range transmitter projects in full swing, 
Arjet appears to have received a second chance thanks to Dr. McLean. We're uh, on schedule and under budget. The USSA is thrilled with our progress and is already take, talking to me about future contracts after we deliver. I don't think it's possible to be ending the year on a better note. Okay, that's cool. Dr. McLean's informed me that uh, we have a problem with the XMB booster. The USSA is demanding that we, uh, that the engine can't exceed their strict weight allowance, but thanks to the uranium refinement subsystem, we were a few hundred tons over. Holy shit. Uh, we're now one month behind schedule, and I'm frankly starting to panic. Dr. McLean assures me that he'll find a solution soon, but that isn't helping me get uh, to sleep at night. The USSA is starting uh, their public relations campaign for the Marshot project and Arctic Jet Systems is finding itself caught right in the middle. In the last week, I think I've fielded 15 separate interviews with everyone asking the same questions over and over again. They all want to know uh, when we're delivering the XMB booster so they can take their uh, pretty pictures of the USSA test firing it for the first time and all I can do is keep smiling and lying through my teeth that the XMB will be delivered when it's ready. I hope Dr. McLean solves our weight problem soon or we're never going to get a contract from the USSA ever again. Oh shit. Starting to get crazy. Uh, I can't believe it. But Dr. McLean's team finally solved the XMB's weight problem. Now all we need to do is finish the finish tightening a few screws and hoist the thing up into the engine core. If we're lucky, we'll be able to test fire the booster's weight right after the new year. It's funny how things seem to seem so bleak and chaotic during this year, but it all comes together for just in time for the holidays. 2077, we're getting closer. Uh, we've scheduled a photo opportunity tomorrow for the XMB's uh, booster's first test firing in the engine core. We're going to strip them all down in the control room and let them shoot their uh, pictures through the thermal glass window after Dr. McLean gives them a short explanation of how the booster works. The engine puts out a hell of a lot of thrust, so it should be quite uh, a spectacular show. So they're already testing it. All right. It's been two weeks since the accident before the XMB boosters test fire. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, somehow a photographer managed to wander past security and into the engine. Oh my god. A few hours early. Dr. McLean was running a quick test on the booster, letting it uh, run for only a few seconds to make sure it was ready for the demonstration and burned the photographer into ash. Thank God no one else saw what happened. I'm having Brent take care of the remains. After all, that's why I hired him. Oh my God. If word of this accident goes public, we'll be shut down and I may as well put a for sale sign out front. Wow. All of the unrest overseas is making the USSA nervous about proceedings with the Mars shot project. They're telling me they have uh, to delay a year or more depend wow, uh, depending on what happens. If that's true, well just have to make we'll just have to make do with the proceeds from the deep range transmitter contract, which we've already completed. I'm trying to keep everyone's spirits up around here, but it's getting harder and harder with the world falling apart around us. Hopefully our government will work things out and we can all get back to work. Yeah, I don't think that will happen. Oh crap. Let's go. Good job, Dance. Can you get the hell out of my way, dog meat? Looks like he's got it all. What's over here? That's what I want to know, all right? Uh, novice. What is this for anyways? Uh, repair order. Installed a new thermal in Red 
Hart's office. He's demanding some serious security on that now. Uh, we've got the Marshad contract. I'm not sure if he's being paranoid or if this is a real reason to worry. I'll set him up with the best we've got for now. Okay, now I'm convinced Reinhardt is paranoid. He's had uh, me put an automatic security uh, turrets in the main hallway just outside his office. You'd think we're working uh, for the military instead of uh, just the United States Space Administration. Wow, this is... If, if you take off the administration and put force, this is the United States Space Force, that's pretty recent <laughs> all right let's see uh got mclean consistently bugging me about that mainframe uh keeps running out of space i've ordered some more storage from the supplier but we're rapidly running out of room here for any more consoles i might have to uh talk to ride heart uh into t to letting us uh, spill over into uh, the office sections shouldn't be too much of a problem All right, Brent came down had me pull all of the video surveillance records from the mainframe last month I asked if he wanted to just let him make backups But he just grunted like he always does and demanded the originals. I have no idea what he's going with uh, Them and I don't want to know as long as I keep getting a paycheck, I could care less. All right. I mean, I think Dance already destroyed them all, but let's go ahead and deactivate these. Oh, I guess there was still another one working. But yeah, he said right outside his office, so it sounds like his office is right around here somewhere. Dun dun dun. He might be paranoid, to be honest. Kind of sounds like he is. Oh, this looks like some sort of, uh, some sort of, uh, like business meeting room. All right. Ready, dance? Let's get the hell out of here. Anything in here? Got some more fusion cells. Dance, what are you doing? Paladin. No time for questions. I'm waiting on you, bro. Okay, good. He's finally going. Or not. <laughs> Dance, hurry the hell up, dude. What are you doing? Alright. Fuck it. Can we go without him? I think we can. Wait, I think he's coming. Okay, finally. Uh, nothing that I want. What is this? I don't want to listen to the freaking receptionist. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Engine course ahead. Could be our final stop. Sounds good. Always down for the final stop. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, this might be the room where uh, that one reporter had the accident. That's crazy, though. They got rid of the body, pretty much. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. You're very talkative, Dance. You know that? Alright. We'll do, Dance. You do that. Watch our backs. Junk jet! Woo woo! Let's listen to this. I'm sure he took 
shop class. Oh look, he's reading the science <laughs> mag. How cute. Ha ha ha. Shop class. Let's see them make this in shop class. Marvelous engineering. Finest in weapon high refuse acceleration. My beauty. My Yeah, I'm just playing the guessing game now, but looks like the technician got uh, his own little invent. Oh fuck, I just locked myself out. Come on, baby. Let me in. See, that's why I don't like being locked out. There we go. Just have to wait a little bit of time. Alright, come on. Let's guess this. I really hate hacking, dude. My god. Please, Bethesda, never put this in a game ever again. Come on. Oh my god, dude. I'm never gonna freaking find this. Any day now. Fuck, dude. I'm not even getting good guesses. Alright, let's start from down here. Fuck it. Free? Free? No. Oh my god, man. This is insane, dude. I fucking hate hacking, dude. I'll find it eventually. Look at that, three with zero. Hair? Sweet. There we go. Finally! Engine core power restored. Thermal engine. This is a good way to farm fusion cells, by the way. Command. allow him to kill a handful of people or uh, since you can get some uh, fusion cells all right fuck it let's go Command accepted. commencing five second countdown five Four. uh oh dance you better get out of there homeboy Uh oh. Uh oh. Dun dun dun. Dance got fucked up. Look at him. Let me out of here. Test firing completed. With an efficiency rating of 96.7%. Stand by, dance, alright? Just just give me just give me one second. Um alright, there's more over here. Alright. I checked those. So let's check this one. That one. Look at all this ammo I'm getting, dude. All right, we're good. Oh my God, are you all right? Got cooked by those flames. You don't say. But thanks to my power armor, I'm still in one piece. The important thing is that 
We're still alive. We have a way to get to the transmitter. Let's go. Sounds good, dancey dance. Let's go ahead and uh heal really fast. Ready to handle some business? You gonna get in here or not, Dance? Alright, you know what? Fuck you. Don't need you anyways. Let me guess. He's already here. Oh, I guess not. Yeah, I don't care. That definitely went the opposite direction. Get over here! Oh god, oh, wait. Oh god. So much going on right now. There's still one left, isn't there? Well, I definitely missed that freaking bats thing. Alright, we'll take that. Alright. We'll do synth. I mean, uh, dance. I'm over here reading synth and I'm getting messed up over here. Oh, uh, there it is. You, deep range transmitter, thank you. Let's get out. We'll take the service elevator to the surface. Sounds good. Get on out of here. Look at that. Getting a bunch of good stuff here. I need to remember to take a nap once we get back to the police station. Whoa, where'd you come from? T60 seriously looks badass, man. What the fuck? Why are you always pushing people out of the way, dog meat? Have some respect. As I push him out of the way. <laughs> what the fuck? How'd you teleport out of here? Oh god. Got a rad storm. Paladin dance. Well, that could have gone smoother, but mission accomplished. Wrong way, dumbass. There you go. Smoother. Smoother? I thought we did fine. That sweet was sloppy. We were caught unprepared more than once, which is unacceptable. Extra gun gave us the edge we needed. I'm not certain I could have accomplished the mission alone. Uh, I mean, we did pretty decent as a team, though. I thought we worked well as a team. Agreed. It's a refreshing change to work with a civilian who could follow orders properly. That being said, I believe we have two important matters to discuss. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep range transmitter, I'd like to compensate you for your assistance during this operation. I think you'll find this weapon useful. It's my own personal modification of the standard Brotherhood laser rifle. May it serve you well in battle. Hell yeah, and there goes my end game weapon. Critical shots do double damage, and the critical meter fills 15% faster. Don't mind if I do. Uh, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, civilian. Now, as far as the second matter goes, I wanted to make you a proposal. We had a lot thrown at us back there. Our op could have ended in disaster, but you kept your cool and handled it like a soldier. There's no doubt in my mind, you've got what it takes. The way I see it, you've got a choice. You could spend the rest of your life wandering from place to place, trading an extra hand for a meager reward. Or, you could join the Brotherhood of Steel and make your mark on the world. So, what do you say? Um, what are your expectations? What would be expected of me if I joined? You'd be under my command, and I'd expect you to follow orders. No more mercenary work. This is the real thing. You'd have access to advanced military weapons, as well as your own personal suit of power armor. Most importantly, you'd have the Brotherhood at your back, ready to spill its own blood to keep you alive. Offer still stands. Do we count on you? Yeah, of course. I'd be honored to join. That's what I wanted to hear. Meet me back at the police station, and we'll discuss the details. All right, let's go ahead and fast travel over there. Right there, damn, this actually, we actually went kind of a long way.
But yeah, that uh, that rifle that he gave us, as soon as I'm able to convert it over to an automatic weapon, I definitely plan to have that as my end game weapon. It is, I mean, I used it even when I wasn't um, a rifle build or even an automatic rifle build at that. It's just a good weapon through and through, man. If you if you like vats, you know. Those scents look freaking absolutely disgusting, dude. They look gross. Ew, and they're creepy. Look at the, the beady eyes and everything. Ew. Disgusting. You disgust me, Synth. Oh, and I leveled up. Let's go ahead and do that really fast. Um... All right, let's put it into bloody mess and put a little bit more damage to our to our weapons. Instead of five percent plus, it's ten percent now, which definitely comes in handy. Let's talk to the Brotherhood of Steel now, that we can finally turn in our weapon. Or our mission, I should say. Mission accomplished. We have the transfer. Finally, some good news for a change. Nice work, sir. I didn't do it alone. Halen, Reese, it's time to welcome our newest recruit to the recon team. He shows a lot of promise. And with the proper guidance, I think he has the potential of becoming one of the best. Um. Thank you. I want to let you down. I promise not to let you down. You don't have to prove anything else to me. Getting that transmitter was enough. So you decided to stay, huh? I expected you to take your payment and run. Maybe you misunderstood me. And instead of being a dickhead the whole time, you would have just saw that I was a good guy. Are you upset that I'm staying? Are you upset that I'm staying? Maybe. I've got enough trouble stomping muties and ferals. I don't need something else to worry about. Reese, that's enough. Like it or not, you're going to have to learn to work together. And you... You need to understand what it means to be a part of the Brotherhood. We're not soldiers of fortune. We're an army. And we've dedicated our lives to uphold a strict code of ethics. If you intend to stay within our ranks, you need to obey our tenets without question. You know what? Both IRL and in-game, I have a military background. Don't worry. I've spent time in the military. Perfect. Then there's no need to give you a long lecture. So I'll get right to the I only ask for two things from anyone under my command. Honesty and respect. I feel you, bro. You fall in line, you stay in line. I give you an order, and you follow it. It's as simple as that. Now, before I release you to Halen and Reese for your assignments, there's one last order of business. From this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of initiate. This is only a training rank. I'm not permitted to grant ranks any higher than that. Yeah, no, for sure. Thank you. Thanks are necessary. Just continue excelling at your duties, soldier. Ad Victorium, Initiate. He doesn't even know what that means, Halen. Ad Victorium means to victory. In our eyes, defeat is unacceptable. Because we're fighting for the future of mankind. Our rallying cry is more powerful than any weapon you could ever carry. Remember that. Now, I need you to report to Halen or Reese for your next assignment. Dismissed, soldier. All right. Well, I'm actually not going to do this because it's one of those just side missions or whatever. So next thing, we're probably going to go to the Commonwealth. But we're definitely going to have to call it a video right here, right now, since we have already just slightly passed the one hour mark. This mission was absolutely cool. I always enjoy doing it. And we finally got our end game weapon, which is, um, if I could find it. The Righteous Authority. Critical shots do double damage and critical meter refills 15% faster. It is an absolutely wonderful gun for my type of build that I'm aiming for. So I aim that to be my main weapon once I get it modded to an automatic weapon. But if you enjoyed this video, do me a huge favor. Drop a like on the video. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.